Welcome to the tutorial annotation columns. So sometimes when you're working in the X sheet, you need to make notes or draw pictures beside all the timings that you've created in the columns. So to do this, you can add a column called an annotation column. So to add an annotation column, all you need to do is go to the X sheet view menu and select columns, add columns. Then the add columns dialog box appears. You can rename your column in the name field, so I'm going to name it annotation. And then from the type drop down menu, you can select annotation and then say apply. So then if we scroll across all of our columns, we'll see that the annotation column is at the very end. So I'm going to maximize the X sheet view. So the other way that you can add an annotation column is by clicking on this button here, Add Columns, and you'll get the same dialog box that you got when you went to the View menu. So if you'd like to draw in the annotation column, all you need to do is make sure that this icon appears, this with the brush. If you click on the header, this icon, the brush icon, will turn into the Select Tool icon, which allows for only typing in the annotation column. You can also go to the View menu and select Annotation Enable Drawing. Because the Enable Drawing mode is already enabled, and we know this by the brush icon, when I click this, I've actually disabled the drawing mode, and we know this because we see the Select tool. So I'm going to click on the header again to bring up the drawing mode, and I'm going to draw something in the column. So if you'd like to type something in the column, it doesn't matter which mode you're in, whether it's drawing or not drawing mode. So I can be in the drawing mode or I cannot. And what I have to do is just double click on any of the cells and then type in my desired message. Like that. So if you would like to delete part or all of the content of an annotation column, you just have to be sure of one thing, and that's that you're not in the drawing mode. And right now we're not in the drawing mode because we can see the select tool. So let's make a selection of a range of cells. And then let's right click on those cells and select annotation and select one of the three options, erase all, erase selected images, or erase selected text. So I'm going to choose erase selected text and we just saw the jump disappear, but it kept our drawing intact. This time, with these cells still selected, and maybe you can't see it in your video, but I can see that these cells are selected because those gray dots that appear beside um, the cells when you want to drag them from place to place have appeared on the side here. So I'm going to right click again and select Annotation, Erase Selected Images. So now just erase the images in the selected cells, but left parts of the images in the parts that I've not selected. So I can also right click and select annotation, erase all. And now everything has been deleted despite the selection that I made. So if you'd like to change your annotation column settings, you have to also do this through the view menu. So let's click on our annotation column and then go to the view menu and select annotation, and you can select between change pen color or change pen width. So let's start with pen width. Right now it's at two pixels, but I can make this much larger or I can customize it. So let's make it something like 20 and say OK. So now when I draw in my annotation column, my drawing stroke is much wider. You can also go back and select annotation, change pen color. And when I do this, the color wheel is brought up again. And from this color wheel, I can choose whichever color I want. So let's say OK. So now when I draw, not only is the width wider, but the color has changed of my brush stroke. So I'm going to delete this stuff again. So the last thing I want to show you is how to import an image 
into your annotation column. And this is usually important for people who like to work by hand because they might have already made handwritten notes beside a paper version of their X sheet um, or just any anything in general if you have reference images you'd like to bring in. So let's go back to the view menu and select annotation import file. So I think there may be a few restrictions for file types. I selected a PNG um, and here you can see it's actually scaled quite large. There are three characters on it. So maybe I should reduce it in Photoshop first. So it's one of those things that you might have to keep in mind. But anyway, that's it for the tutorial annotation columns and it's also the end of the video series all about timing.